So I got my hands on the dual M SATA SSD to 2.5 inch SATA SSD converter with RAID. You could it has multiple modes. JBOD, RAID 0, RAID 1, big, which is just spanning. And the code for it is if you want if you're interested yourself is 25 SAT, 22 MSAT. Now I spent roughly about $30 on it, bought it used. It doesn't normally come with the the PCIe bracket, the PCI bracket. By the way, I bought it for like 35 Australian. And on a new egg, brand new, just without the bracket, like just PCIe bracket, PCI bracket, is roughly $82.50 Australian. Because I'm actually planning on um, putting in a uh, couple of M SATA drives I had lying around. I'll probably have them in spanning mode because one of them is going to be 1.5 terabytes. Oh, not 1.5, 1 terabytes, and the other one's going to be 500 gigs. Now, what I have to do is take this apart, assemble it, and put it in. These Samsung, uh, Samsung drives have MSATA drives in them. So, that's not really any... Oh, it's USB-C as well. Look at that. What else do I have in this box? So I got a manual, box and video, a portable SSD manual, and USB cables. USB-C to C and USB-C to normal USB-A. I don't need that stuff. Now the first thing I have to do is take this apart. There you go, two screws. Two little screws here, I have to undo, they're um, just normal Phillips screws. Now the thing is, with these drives, I'm not going to throw them away or anything like the circuitry because there's still value to that. And I do have some uh, SATA drives lying around, S SATA, SATA, I can't. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one in. I reckon for, oh, yep, here we go. Um, there's another set of screws on the other side. This is actually a sticker. Can't believe I didn't notice that. All right, come on, baby. Be right, all right, now I have to push it from the back. There you go. I love how it's designed. A little cut ridge. I don't. I really hope they use the same screws for everything. No, they didn't. It's okay. It's obvious that they didn't. So that when I put it back together again, I'm not gonna confuse parts and stuff. Anyway, I got this drive for like 80 bucks because I had a 50 dollar gift voucher. So I spent it on you know getting a drive, a one terabyte drive. All right, it's not coming out. Uh, might as well just just assemble the whole thing. Clips, I guess. A couple of clips on the side. There you go. And it fits. Why don't you lock it by out? And done. First one in. This is where the 500 gigs are going to come from. And I'm worried because it's cracked. Really hope I have some way of removing it without, you know, spreading too much glass. If it does, I'm going to just pull it outside. Okay, so i got an idea now. I'm going to use a plastic bag. Well, I'm going to have to really... Whoop. Oh, that's as much as I can do it. Alright, what I'm going to do is put the screen into the bag, remove it, remove the, you know, the, the broken bit, there you go. It's a shame you can't see it. It's, it's beautiful. I don't want to lose these screws. I'm going to chuck this on eBay afterwards for parts and stuff. Oh. There it is. The screw. Yeah, I'm ready to throw in the bin or something. Alright, I originally had a Toshiba 512 gig into it. 
You may ask me, why, why, do you, why did you put 512 gig? Why not one terabyte? Well, back then, these were hella expensive. So I might as well reuse it. Oh no, don't tell me to do this. It's not compatible. Oh, there you go. Ta da! There you go. Looks great. The originally um it came with the bracket. Doesn't usually include the bracket, but looks like they were in a forg if not a forgiving mood, a generous mood. All right, now in order to set this to spanning or big. Now, in order to do spanning, create a create a large single drive volume consisting of two, consisting of both drives is short pins, one and two. So this is a, where is it? Oh, at the end here, right here. These are the pins. Six pins with two jumper cable, uh, jumper. What do you call it? Little two jumpers. You know the ones you found used to find on ID drives to turn it master or slave. All right, let's see. I need to do short one and two and five and six. Now, what I'm going to do is connect this by like a USB bridge to, I mean, a SATA to USB bridge. So, that. And I'm going to plug these two in and see if it's going to pop. All right, it's working. Uh, no, it hasn't. Looks like this doesn't have a JBOD. Now what I'm gonna do is put one and two together, the pins, so it becomes spanning. Done. Let's see what would happen now. There you go. Let's see what's gonna happen now. Alright, lights are blinking. The 500 terab the 500 gig worked, but not the. All right, let's see what's in this. Users, video clips. Screw this. Yeah, I'll just copy the entire thing and just in case. Wasn't even going. Wasn't even planning to do this, but whatever. How long is it going to take? An hour. All right. So I ended up copying all my files off my SATA drive. And it turns out that any existing partitions in either of those drives have to, has to be deleted in order for um, what do you call it? In order to span, raid, or use this damn um device. I mean, copying and uh, what do you call it? Copying and trying to figure it out for like an hour now. But yeah, it turns out this has to have no partitions, and this doesn't have to have any partitions. I had to use um F disk, F disk, no disk part to uh, delete them all off and stuff. And now I can set it up. Since now it's set up, you know, formatted and everything, what I did next was set the uh, RAID settings. So they can't, like, locked RAID settings is the correct term. I locked them by moving the, pin, the jumper from ground to set to set to NC. So now it's, you know, ready to be installed. All right, so now I'm going to ma uh, mount. I'm going to now run Crystal Disk Mark so I could get accurate um, readings on the capabilities of the hybrid SSD drive, um, the StarTech. All right, so in my own opinion, <clears throat> I reckon these are pretty decent speeds for its setup. Uh, two drives, slower drives taking more um, the the technical slower drive. What was my slower drive? Uh, the speeds are being used, I believe, and I don't see a problem with it. That's 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 bloody brilliant. Now what I'm gonna do is reconnect the the drive this is replacing, and we'll see how much of a performance boost it is. And it's finished. As you can clearly tell, even though I'm lacking about what 400 gig in space, I have amazing read and write speeds. Especially what's described on the box, which was um, 
well, for one of the drives, the Samsung one, 540 megabytes a second, and I'm getting about close to 488, 485. Not bad. Pretty damn good compared to um, the USB 3 hard drive. Obviously, I know that being a hard drive, it has its um, uh, limitations in um, speed, but now for my thoughts and feelings. I reckon it's worth it if you have the M SATA drives lying around, the M SATA SSDs. And I only recommend purchasing like the as the StarTech dual M SATA SSD to 2.5 inch SATA SSD converter if you can find it used and for a decent price. Because right now, I believe, hold on, let me do a quick Google check. They're pretty expensive for me. I bought it for close to $35 used. Right now on their own website, it's listed as $126. Uh, M Wave is one hundred and six dollars. eBay, the average uh, brand new pricing is between one hundred and ten to one hundred twenty four. Oh, by the way, the prices I've listed is in Australian, Australian dollar reduced. Yep, even on New Egg, it's about eighty two dollars and fifty cents. So it's not bad if if you go with New Egg. But then again, I don't know the shipping. Anyway, back to the main point. Yeah, I reckon it's worth it if you have the drives lying around and you can find uh, the the. Uh, the raid device raid device the um the star tech device in uh in uh a decent price decent condition working then go for it but if you want to do this like oh yeah i'll buy two one terabyte hard drives i'll also buy the dual m sata ssd thing from star tech combine all three and I'll have an epic large two terabyte RAID zero, I think it's RAID, RAID zero gig where I could get two terabytes in total. Then it's not worth it. And then it's better just to save for one, you know, one drive. That one drive would operate much more fast. It'd be more reliable and what is it? More usable, I guess, compared to a RAID setup in this manner, like a, the dual M SATA SSD, because I'm, um, Again, you know, with that one one drive, the one two terabyte drive would operate at its maximum capabilities, whereas with this dual M SATA thing, there might be like efficiency loss and you know, the two SATA drives uh could be designed or manufactured in a way where one operates slightly more quicker than the other, so then the other one would reduce the overall speed. Again, for me, as long as I'm hitting over 450, you know, megabytes a second, I don't really care. But you know, it's still it's still something to consider. What else? Um, maybe I reckon it's useful if you buy it all second hand or you're given these parts. You know, like hey, I found this M Sata thing. I don't use it. No one's using it now, or something. Yeah, you can have it here. Yeah, take take it and go. You know, then I reckon it's um worth it in my opinion. But going with brand new stuff then no way i would just rather buy like a two terabyte ssd so let's say if i went with a brand new um i want to do this project let's say brand new i'll be paying about what 150 300 bucks close to 300 bucks for two one terabyte m sata drives plus let's say this which is 82 dollars that's you're already at it's not even including postage costs you're already at 382 dollars whereas you could easily go hey why not oh look not look at that save a few bucks and just go with the straight you know two terabyte ssd in the end it's just only worth it if you go with if you have the aim sata drives lying around and you're willing to fork out like like i would be only willing to fork out maximum 50 dollars for this like uh the setup the star tech um M SATA SSD to 2.5 inch S SATA SSD converter. 50, uh, 50 bucks maximum for the converter. The M SATA drives already, you know, spent the money on. Might as well, you know, they're lying around. Might as well use them for something. Combine it and store something. Like, I don't really need to worry about, like, games or something. Something rep easily replaceable. Games, software, like um, Office 
solids works, you know, accidentally delete the copy or the drive becomes corrupted. Oh no sweat. Just, you know, reinstall it on another drive. Oh that's another thing. Um the two the two with the M SATA drive, if one drive becomes corrupted out of them two, that means you lose all your data. For me, I personally think it was worth it. Since I had a five twelve gig SSD lying around. M uh, you know, M SATA though. But, you know, it's being used now before it's just sitting around in my Surface Pro 3 doing nothing, it's, you know, being a waste. Well, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content. Check out my Instagram, my um, Twitter, my other videos, blah, 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 blah. And um, catch you next time.